How's it going, guys? Coach Alonzo Harvey, I'm here with Coach John. How you doing, uh, one everyone? of the questions I got asked was how to handle your nerves before a fight. So uh, Coach John just actually came back from uh, Florida for a kickboxing tournament down there with several of our guys. And all of our coaches here at Rising Dragon have some competition experience on some level. So we just want to give you some, some quick tips on how to handle nerves before a fight. So keep I say one of the best ways that you always, your nerves are always going to get the best of you no matter what. So the most important thing is always have faith in your training. And you always, always make sure to listen to your coaches because mm -hmm. sometimes in uh, quick situations to where your nerves are getting the best of you, or your brain is not going to be clicking on all levels. So that's what that's what the that's what's good to having your coaches for and having it, uh, the teammates and everyone in the background that's been going through the same training as you to make sure that you were there to help you. You remember. So in case uh, nerves tell you to forget to do a certain technique, your coaches are there to back you up. Because no matter what, if you don't feel nervous, then you wouldn't be you wouldn't be a human fighter. So yeah, absolutely. So remember, no matter how much experience someone get. Don't listen to them. They always get nervous, right? You always get butterflies, but what they say, you got to learn how to make them fly in formation. So one thing you want to do is work on your breathing, right? Because you get nervous, the first thing you're going to do, your heart start pumping, mm -hmm. right? But that's good. That's adrenaline. Adrenaline is good for being, your eyes being alert, yeah. getting stronger, <laughs> but you want to use it in a good way, not for fear, not for panicking, right? You want to be a first control your breathing in the nose out the mouth just like when you in an airplane they say hey when we're doing we have the oxygen come they down say it's a procedure they, a they, procedure. they want you to breathe some oxygen so you don't panic so the first thing you want to do is control your breathing like like coach john said it starts in the gym make sure you're working on your conditioning make sure you're training confidence come with confidence confidence comes with confidence come but it's, it's, it's a strong key because without Without, you got to make sure that your confidence is there because otherwise uh, you got some people who get there who, who um, go into a nervous breakdown right in the middle of when it's showtime and they can't think, oh, I, could, I couldn't do this right or I couldn't do right, that right because of, the nerves got the best of them. So when you got confidence in everything that you did in your training, the nerves is going to be a natural part of the process. So I want to give you a few tips that help me before a fight, right? When we maybe get my hands wrapped and whatever. First thing I want to help mentally is like affirmations. And why I bring this up, um, I always show my fighters, remember Rose from the UFC, mm -hmm. she, before her fight, she's sitting there, I'm the best, I'm the best. Before, why did she get her name called in the cage? She's saying an affirmation over and over and over again until not till she believes it, until she knows until the confidence it. is there. It's until a, it's, it's a, there. It's a ritual. It's like everybody's got to have, so everybody's got some kind of ritual of their own. negative yeah. talk yourself. And one thing to help <laughs> with that is saying positive affirmations to yourself, right? She kept telling herself, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. One other mental thing I like to do, really, me personally, pre-fight, during the fight, walking in, I like to smile, right? Have, and here, here's the reason why. Just because we would smile, right, help lighten me up. I got to remember, this is what fighters are different. This is what I like to do to have fun. Friday night, yeah. Saturday night, I'd rather be nowhere else than walking into the ring, walking into the cage, walking into competition, getting ready for a fight. You got to not get sucked up by the moment and enjoy the moment. And one thing that helped me enjoy the moment, it helped me smile, it helped me remember that this is what I like came to, to do. Have, came to have fun. Came, you got to have fun. Came to have fun. So in the game. I'm serious. Yeah. But I start with the smile, like yeah, boy. Yeah, right? I, had to, I, I was, I was, I, I know what you mean by that because of, I remember being mm -hmm. uh, in, incredibly nervous for at least two of my fights to where um, I had you in one fight. Like, hey, right. snap out of it, man! Yeah, Just get back, to your, get, snap out of it. Be, get, get back to yourself. Be you. What's it like? Cause like. I was telling the guys over the, over the weekend, I said, for some reason, I said, Zoe always knew yep. when, when something was bothering me. He always said, snap out of it. Be snap ready. Get, get back. And then I would get back to myself, get to, get to listening to the music, and then right. get back to my zone. And then once I found my ritual again, I was right, right back to being straightforward again. It was right so on the moment. Smiling yeah, works. Yeah, that makes affirmation. sense. Affirmation. And one thing physically I also like to do. There's a lot of, you see people man, bang on your chest. Like, yeah, you got to remember, we, this is primal. You about to go in there. We going in there <laughs> in combat. Fist the cuffs, right? Oh, we yeah. going in there to kick, punch, destroy, whatever we in there to trying to do. So I'm mean, banging on my chest, you know, stomping my feet, right? Quick little hop. Uh, one thing I like to do to help me wake up sometimes, if, we, if I'm like a main event or co-main event, I have one of my coaches come back my head and they smack me right here in the nape of my neck because it wakes me up, a shock, and it kind of 
and pisses me off. I'm like, oh, this mother, <laughs> I want to kill, I want to fight somebody, smacking me in the back of the neck, and it jolts me up. I, last thing I want to happen is we out there and, and I eat a few jabs or a riot or something before I wake up. So I like to do something, snap me awake. Remember the physical, uh, hit your chest, we were hitting the glove, stomp your feet, right? Right before I go out, when we walk out, I have the coach just smack me in the back of the neck, just a little, right? I get mad, I want to turn around and hit one of them. Whatever, whatever, whatever uh, it's going to help you to get you in your rituals and make yep. sure that you're ready for the fight. You always got to remember, no matter what, you're going to be nervous. But and if you don't have those nerves, then you're not human. So yep, yeah. you just got to have faith and in your training, your coaches, and everything that you've been doing to make yourself better and stick to your game plan. Same. And the very last one I want to talk about, very last tip, is building up to the fight. Some meditation, some visualization. Why? Visualization is key, man. Visual, visualize myself. Uh, I visualize myself going through a perfect fight. I visualize myself Getting going hit, through uh, the worst case scenario and coming out on top. I visualize everything that could possibly happen and, and me going through adversity and me coming out the other end, right? So visualization is key. But I visualize every aspect, not just a perfect fight, because I don't want to mentally break down if worst case scenario happen. I'm like, oh man, I can't believe this happened. No, it's okay. I trained for that worst case scenario. I've been visualizing this worst case scenario. And now come fight time, if it happens, I'm Gotta mentally, I'm mentally prepared. So here are some tips we like to, you know, I, I like to throw out there because people say, hey man, what do you want to do? So there's a lot of other things you can do mentally, but those are some quick tips you can do the day of the fight to help your nerves. You're getting your hands taped, right? And you should be should be breathing, saying affirmations, visualizing yourself, right? As it gets close to the walkout, that's when the physical come out pumping, hitting the chest, stumping my feet, right? Trying to get pumped. Everyone's got their preparations and their rituals. You gotta know what works for you and always gotta be ready for it. All right, so we're out of here. If you have any other questions about training or competition, leave them in the comments below. I'll make like a video and answer. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, peace.